Hi everyone, how you doing? Making a video today on Woodward TG Governors and just want to talk about droop and changing the droop and what the droop does and why you would want to add more droop. Um, TG Governors are, are, you know, fairly simple governors. They're on thousands of different steam turbines and TG stands for Turbine Governor. So that's all they're generally they're going to be used on. So you you know you add droop to it to get a little make your a little more stable maybe if you've got a little bit of hunting issues whatnot you'd add some droop the droop is added often because um not because there's a governor problem but there could be a, maybe the linkages wore out you know the steam's irregular or maybe your turbine just has a problem with the you know just the issue with it so if you change the droop a lot of times it it kind of it'll help you but it's not necessarily like a an end-all fix but it definitely will give you some 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 help so what we got here is a uh tg governor opened up and one with the lid on it and what i want to just show you is so you're not worried about it or scared about it so basically, this is a TG13. They, we do sell the model of TG611 that has the overspeed trip on it. Um, when you take the cover off, you, you'll, there's a little bit more of a trick there, but it's nothing to be worried about. But when you're using, taking this cover off, all you do is remove this snap ring, push this through, pop it off, and you'll be in this, you'll be right here. So, it's, and it's not, and so I just wanted to let you guys know it's not a, it's not it's not difficult it's a pretty easy process and and as long as you have the governor either sitting upwards or on its side nothing's going to fall out everything should you know work work fine so uh so when you have the cover off now and you're in this position right here if you notice here there's a i have it in a position where there's there's an arrow here arrow here this is your droop slider so this does everything this is all it is that changes your droop and what the droop is doing um is when you move the position of your uh terminal shaft it's it's putting more pressure down on the speeder spring so the speeder spring itself is actually putting more down so it's under more control more it's kind of in a more of a loaded position so this way it's able to give you more stability so when we send it out, we generally have this in, um, we generally have it in, say about a position here where we would probably be about, let me just loosen this up a bit. We'd probably be, you know, halfway, somewhere in there. That's kind of where you would, we would, you know, generally fall and there's 10% droop and everything that goes out of here. That's uh, what Woodward calls for in our specs, but often, um, depending on the shape of your turbine and what's going on, you need a little more droop for a little more stability. So a lot of governors request, a lot of customers, sorry, request that we put more droop in. So um, what we do is we put it down. You know, you just have to loosen this. And just basically, if you go like this, you're going to add more droop. So down is always more droop, up is less. So if you all know that, that's always the trickiest thing. I know a lot of people have put it, you know, they'll put it the other way and they say it's worse, but it actually goes down. And when you do it, if you go back here and you have, like we have it here. So now you have it like, it shows up like this. You say, like if you come up here and go through this process of taking the lid off and going through it, and I want to have more stability. Don't just move it a tiny bit. Like actually move this thing halfway. Like put a significant amount of droop in it. Just because the whole process of taking the cover off, tearing the gasket, causing all kinds of issues. You just don't want to have that. You don't need that in your life. So make sure you've moved the droop significantly. I don't suggest that you put the droop in a position all the way down. If you're doing that, you're guaranteed you have other issues going on. You have a problem with, um, you know, something else is going on. Your turbine isn't working properly. Your linkage could be wore out, not set properly. So there's other issues to look at if you have to put this all the way down. So moving it above like 50%, moving some of the area and bringing it down should, should definitely, it's not gonna say solve your problem, but it should give you more stability and make it less by, you know, less vibration or hunting going on. 
And so you don't have to see this, you know, your governor jumping up and down all the time. So once you do that, just make sure you tighten this all good. Make sure this moves freely. So there's a spring inside here. This is your speed setting. Make sure this, you know, moves freely. Never turn the governor upside down because this bushing can kind of fall out a little bit and you don't want that to happen. So always do everything in this, in this position. Um, so once you've adjusted your droop, um, you can just take your cover, basically, you know, put, you might want to put a screwdriver underneath here just to push the lid on and pop it on, put it down. And all it is is about 80 or 90 inch pounds. You want to screw everything to, and then put your snap ring back on that you'll find right here. Put the snap ring back on and you're ready to go. And you should hopefully not necessarily solve your problem, but how generally it helps you out significantly to have more droop and help you out. And I just want you guys to watch this just so you know you're not, don't be all worried about it and all scared. There's not, when you take this lid off, there isn't all kinds of springs to shoot out and everything like that. I want you to know that it's quite um, uh, a reasonably simple process as long as you follow these steps. And you should have success and your governor should be working and have more stability on a turbine. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope that helps and you guys have a good day.